Thanks for stopping by. When it comes to home automation, there can be many hazards. Please be careful when making modifications to appliances and interfacing into high voltage circuits. If you do not know what you're doing, you could end up electrocuting yourself, damaging your appliance, or starting a fire. Now that we have talked about the risks, let's watch the video. Okay, so we're replacing the uh, Wi-Fi module in the Wi-Fi air conditioner project. Um, right now, I've got kind of a hodgepodge going on in there, and I'm going to be replacing it with this LC Tech relay mo module, which I've already uh, flashed firmware on and uh, restored the the backup. So uh, this should be a pretty seamless transition. This is a five volt relay board, which will work perfect because the uh, there's a five volt power supply uh, as part of the electronics in there, and uh, you'll see in a second. So we'll just uh, pop this front cover off. I'm trying to do it without taking it out of the window because, oh, I guess I better take out the last screw. Come on. I don't really want to take it out of the window to do this. As you can see, I've got someone watching me, curious what I'm doing. So this has been working for uh, about a month, very reliably. Um, being controlled by uh, Node Red and uh, automated with uh, Apple HomeKit. Oh, I'll go back in there, you stupid thing. Okay, so now the front cover should come off. There we go. All right, so this is my integration into the actual uh, electronics, where there's actually a relay board in there too. And this is my was my temporary solution here. So this is being replaced today by uh, what hopefully will be a much cleaner and simpler solution. So I'm just going to go ahead and unplug it. And this is what we're again putting in to replace it. Got my helper ready to go. So I'm going to come back in a minute uh, once I've disconnected this and started wiring up the new one. Okay, so here's our old version. And I cut the wire shorter too because I didn't need as much. And here is our new version so this is all wired up um i haven't tested it yet so we're all gonna find out together if we're gonna let out the smoke or if this thing's actually gonna work so here we go i'm gonna plug it in and we've got our module is powered up here um so we are, I guess I should bring my computer in here so we can actually see uh, if this controls it correctly. Okay, so we are back. So we got this hooked up. Uh, we got good, we got lights on it. Um, so we're gonna set the mode to uh, cool. And that should kick the fan on automatically. Let's see what happens. So, the compressor kicked on too, and that's probably because it's hotter than 18 degrees in here. So, let's turn this up to, uh, twenty-two, so the, uh, compressor should kick off. Okay, compressor is off. So we're going to turn off auto fan speed and manually go through the fan speeds to see if they are working correctly. So right now we're set to low. So I'm going to set this to high, see what happens. Okay, high seems to be working. Let's go to medium. Sounds like medium. Let's go to low. Okay. So I'll turn back on auto fan speed, um, and I pro set up auto fan speed to automatically uh, adjust the fan speed based on how far off we are from our temperature goal. So um, that seems to be, this has all been working for about a month and it works great. So, and we can see here, the uptime on the AC module is two minutes and 15 seconds, which makes sense because we just plugged it in. Um, 
and I'll make a separate video on the heat at some point, but uh, this is a dual purpose system. I've got another module installed in a, a baseboard heater uh, that controls the heat in this room. So uh, you can see our status there. All right, so this seems to actually be working exactly the way I want it to. So I'm gonna turn it off now. That should kick off the fan in a few seconds. There we go, fan is off. All right, so I'm on my to-do list. So the module seems to be working so far. I just need to mount this better than shoving it in the slot here, which has kind of been my temporary solution. Keep in mind, this is all low voltage. It's all five volts. Um, and uh, I haven't touched any of the high voltage wiring in here. I basically just built a harness that plugs in where the actual control panel would have plugged in originally. So all the high voltage switching is being done by the factory uh, provide or the the original uh, circuit board in here, um, and uh, of course there's a bunch of safeties built in that I've done to make sure that the compressor doesn't run without the fan and all that fun stuff. And if we lose connection to the MQTT broker, um, the uh, system will shut down etc um my cat just jumped onto my back so that's kind of annoying just gonna get her to go down there there we go anyways so yeah this seems to be working good i'll post a follow-up at some point once uh this has been thoroughly tested snippet here um so for now i've got the, the module still installed like the other one was, but a little bit less messy. So at some point, um, I'm going to do a proper housing for this so that it does not, it's not just sitting in there. But uh, for now, this seems to work. At some point, I'd like to see if I can get a piece of ABS uh, mounted on the inside of here. And then I will install this in between the ABS and the, the protective plate over the electronics in there. But at this point, we're still in prototyping phase, so um, we're going to see how this works. Hopefully this will be a permanent solution for control. And uh, then at that point I will figure out what I'm going to do next with this.